hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I'm a Whovian and today I review Doctor Who The Web Planet. So this is a 60s story from uh, 1964. since season 2. So, in this one, the Doctor, Vicky, Ian and Barbara uh, land on a strange planet called Vortis where they hear this like voice entity thing called the Antimus and they're in the middle of a conflict, a war between moth-like alien creatures called the Mon Monopath... Uh, the... Menop... the... Menop... The Menopthrif or something, Terif, and an ant like creature called the Zabi. Uh, and basically, the Doctor and his companions get caught in the middle of it and have to try and resolve a solution and stuff. Um, so, what did I like about this story? Not a lot. I'm being honest here. If you like this story, fair enough. But my personal opinion, it was just boring and bad and cheesy. I mean, I get it, it's 60s sci-fi. This, for the audience of that time, it was probably something that had never happened, that they'd never seen on their TV before, giant insect creatures. But looking at it from a modern perspective, who's seen way better, I just thought, the costumes, the, the moth people, their costumes look pretty good. You know, pretty good and classic sci-fi. But the Zabi, the ant creatures, their, their look was just terrible. They were like people in ant suits with long human legs. That's all I can tell. And they made this weird noise. And, you know, there they were the, even these little caterpillar-like creatures as well that were humanoids. Which, again, were badly done. I mean, all they did was hop around and talk in a weird, sharp voice. Um... And William Hartnell, he was okay in this, along with the others. You know, um, Jacqueline Hill and William Russell and, you know, uh, her who was Vicky. Um, but I just, this serial was just really hard to watch. In fact, so hard, I, I actually took breaks in between two episodes each. Like, I watched two episodes and then I went and had, you know, I went and... I had a break for a while, I watched two more episodes, cooked some lunch, and then watched the last two. And it just didn't get better from there. It was one of those classics separate from the TARDIS stories, you know, with the telepathic consciousness and not a much of a satisfying conclusion. I'm sorry, I hate to say this, I hate to, you know, take a dump on all this, but I'm giving you my honest opinion here. I did not like this one. But, you know, that's the thing with some shirts, you know, sort dories. They're not all good, they're not, some are good, some are bad. And this one, I just thought it weren't worth my time. I thought six episodes were too long and it dragged. And I was bored after like two episodes. And it got, it got a while to get going as well. Episode one, not really much happens. Uh, it mainly starts to pick up by episode eight, but even then you've had enough of it. And... You know, the, the quality of the conflicts in that is just very poorly done. I mean, the Zabi were pretty dull creatures. Uh, but the moth people, I would say, were the good parts. But I can't pronounce the moth people's names, so I'm not even going to try. But yeah, I just did not like this one. Uh, I do have a few likes. Like I say, I like the moth people. They look good in it. I like the scenery as well and the setting and the visual practical effects that they used for this. They had some good practical effects and some good like, you know, visuals. I mean, like I said, they didn't rely on digital because they were that they made work with what they had with them at the time, practical stuff. But yeah, I just didn't get a lot of enjoyment out of this one. Like I said, if you like this serial, fair enough, but this one just wasn't for me. So I'll get straight to the ratings. 
the performances, I'll give them... Well, there were some corny performances in there. I'll give the performances a... A 7. The writing... A 5. The visuals, practical stuff... Um, a 7. And my personal, I'll give it a 6. Yeah. In fact, no. The visual, uh, the, my personal, I'll give it a 5. Because I, I didn't really like this one much. So, there you are. Sorry to give you a bit of a dull review this week, but... You know, I watch and review these so you don't have to. So do I recommend this one even? Not really. Like I say, it drags on. I just don't think it's worth the time. So, yeah. Sorry to, you know, to come down with all that, but like I said, being honest. So, there you go. That has been my Who review on Doctor Who The Web Planet. But if you've seen this one and you like it, then let me know if you do. What do you like about it? Uh, so, yeah, I've been Davros the Whovian. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are linked down below in the description. So until next time, run for your life.